Hey y'all, so tomorrow is Valentine's Day. What I like to do for my coworkers is make a little, you know, a little goodie bag or whatever. So, I got all this candy. <laughs> I didn't really mean to get all this, but I got it. All right, so aside from the chocolate, I also got these cute little notebooks. Aren't they the cutest? So six comes in a set. I thought that'd be really cute because where I work, we always need a pad and a pen. Okay, always, 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 always. So I thought that was neat. And then I got this um, case of pens. And then y'all know I keep me some little ribbon and the little gift bags because I'm always kind of putting together a little bag for the girls, okay? All right, so these are the notebooks. It says lots of love. Oh, this one's just the color, the pattern, pattern. Love you. I don't know why. Mm, love and this. Okay, so the love you, which I do love my coworkers. I do, but um, you know, look a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the book first. One, two, three. I just got eight of those, so I'm gonna just do one of these. I'm gonna do at least one of each color. One of each color. Maybe like three kisses. One of each color. Kit Kat. Um, maybe two Swizzlers. One in Ghirardelli. Okay. So there's like. There we go. That is the cutest thing ever. How many pieces am I doing? I think I'm just do two. Our finishing touch, use our scissors and curl it up. Hopefully the curl. I guess oh, let's see. Curl, come on. Okay. So it's a little wonky, but is that cute or what, guys? I love it. All right, you guys. Here they are all finished. I was able to do 14. I ran out of all of the little plastic baggies. So, there you have it. This is the candy that I have left. All of it. I combined all of it together. So, I get in my car. And my mom was like, I left your Valentine's Day stuff in your car. So she got me some work pants and some um, and some laundry detergent. So yeah, she knows what I need when I need it. Love her. So yeah. Hi guys. Today we're making heart-shaped strawberry biscuits. Ooh, so. I'm pretty much using the same biscuit um, biscuit recipe as the other one. So yeah, I was just gonna add strawberries to it. Do a little, um, yeah, y'all will see what we get there, okay? Got one, two cups of flour, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of baking soda, tablespoon of baking powder. We're going to grade six tablespoons of unsalted frozen butter. All right, this is our butter. We're just going to combine the butter and the flour. We have our strawberries. This is about 
a cup and a half to two cups of diced strawberries. We're gonna add just a little bit of flour to coat these. Coating the strawberries in flour helps them to not clump together. It helps to keep the chunks, the dices, the strawberries separate. Adding the strawberries to the dry mixture. All right, let's go give them a quick toss. A cup of cold buttermilk. And we're going to mix. We're going to flour our surface. Here is our biscuit dough. So we're going to flour our gloves, make it easy to work with. I like to form it into a square and fold. Folding is going to create layers in our biscuits. I like to fold at least four times. So now we're gonna fold this way. This way. When it starts feeling sticky, more flour. Fold it. Fold it. Fold it. Is that four times? I'm gonna pat it out to about an inch thick. We have our heart-shaped biscuit cutter or cookie cutter. We're gonna flour it, flour it, put some flour on it. That way it won't stick to the dough. Straight down, straight up. And straight down, straight up. No twisting. Here are our beautiful biscuits. Mm. This is how it's looking so far. Do we have more dough left? Sprinkle again. I'm pretty much just gonna start over again. Break our gloves. I'm gonna pat it into a square shape. We're going to fold again. Fold. 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 Here is the second batch. I'm gonna put these in a preheated oven of 450 for 15 minutes. Let's see. All right, you guys, so while the biscuits are baking, we're going to create the icing, so to speak, for the biscuits. So we have some confectionate sugar, powdered sugar. We're gonna start with about two cups. You just create this to your liking. 
The measuring spoon I have is one half teaspoon. So I added two of those. So that would make it one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a couple splashes of heavy whipping cream. Mix this and it's gonna create our icing. Should a little thick. Let's see what it turns out now. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna add some more heavy whipping cream just to loosen it up. Just want to make sure that it drizzles. So there you have it. Biscuits. Here they are. I got some melted salted butter. And we just gonna sprinkle those. Drizzle some butter. Let's do a little icing. And here are our heart-shaped strawberry biscuits. Mm. So, it is Valentine's Day. I'm packaging this up for my mom and my grandma. And I think they're going to love them. And then I did pack them some extra icing just in case. You know. Here is my biscuit I'm about to try. So flaky. Alright, you guys. Alright, so I split it a while ago, but okay, let's see. <laughs> that is so good. Oh my god, y'all. Mmm, it's buttery, fluffy, a light. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I do need just a little more um, of the um, icing. So hold on, a little bit. All right. Mm. Grandma is going to love these. Oh my god. My grandma loves uh Bojangles biscuits. So every now and then I'll go and get her some biscuits, especially around especially around Valentine's because they get the heart shaped ones. But girl, I did my own thing. Okay, very good. It don't need no icing. But the biscuits aren't necessarily sweet. So just to get that sweetness. The icing hit. Mm. I had all the ingredients already. All I had to do was get the strawberries and the heavy whipping cream for the icing. And there you have it. <laughs> ah. All right, I'm gonna go. Wish me luck. <laughs>